all right guys welcome back to anime last stand now before we hop on into it there is a new code now unfortunately um it's not a reroll code but the new code is i believe it is admirals update there we go for 750 emeralds all right let's get into the tier list i want to give a big shout to my wiki team they've been putting in the work so make sure you guys go over to the wiki here is the address to my wiki all right, alsroblox.fandom.com. My wiki team is cracked, and they got all of the new units up. So if you guys want to see the stats for yourselves, go check it out. All right, let's go hop on into the tier list. So this is the current old tier list. All right, and there's going to be some changes. So uh, let's just take a look, guys. Let's start off with our boy, Golden Admiral. So Golden Admiral does have an Evo. All right, so uh, if you guys want to check him out, he is a hybrid unit, which is very nice. Um, decent stats overall. So let's go take a look at his level 75 stats. So level 75, we really care about the max stats. So 192,000 damage is not bad at all for 7.5. Now you may be like, that seems kind of low, but remember this is with no trait. And we can compare him with Yuda, who is doing 473, but for 10. Now uh, he is not as good because this is the unevoed version, but honestly, the unevoed version is still pretty decent. I'm going to put the unevo version in A tier. Not a bad look. All right, guys. Next up, we got our boy, Golden Admiral War. So this guy is infinite mode meta, and he has some pretty sweet stats. 352 for 8.5 and cripple. Cripple is a very good ability. So technically speaking, he actually deserves to be in the support tier. Um, but I'm going to give him S tier. Cripple is very, very good. Easily S tier. Definitely, maybe not as good as he's up there with Yuta, I'd say. And Cripple's actually one of the best status effects in the game, so uh, not bad at all. All right, let's go move on to the next unit, guys. We got Red Admiral, the celestial you get for the banner, and you can evolve him, of course, with a donut and 45 spirit shards. So this guy is a flame unit, and he's actually pretty good. 64,000. Again, the reason it's so low is he's just a celestial. So honestly, this celestial is not the greatest, but uh, it's not too bad. I'm going to put it in the... Okay, I actually need to fix this. This guy's probably... Okay, this is more like the... We'll put this as the A tier now. A, S tier, A tier, B, C, D, F. So uh, definitely Golden Admiral is probably... He's more like in the Celestial range. And then Red Admiral is not that great either. So this guy's actually pretty, pretty solid, even for a non-evoed non version. All right, Red Admiral War is an evolution of him, and he's a lot better since he's a Celestial Evo. 202 plus flame damage, not bad at all. Um, easily going to put him into the S tier meta, definitely. All right, also Gachio is going to move down. He's no longer meta. Uh, I'm going to move some of these. I, yeah, well, we might move some of these later on. Um, next up, guys, we got our boy... Blue Admiral. This guy is going to be the new freeze unit. His damage is really not that great. He's more of a support unit. So uh, I'm going to give him the A tier uh, for being a support. He's a lot like Gachio. However, if you do get him evolved, he is a lot better. The Blue Admiral War is really good. So you're going to see his stats are a lot better. 202,000 and freeze. So uh, that is the new meta freeze unit right there. So uh, definitely a good look. Easily meta. I'll put him pretty high up on the list, honestly. Um, makes sense considering he's a mythic evo next up we have light admiral non evo again the stats not that great in my opinion he's kind of a pass but uh you know we're gonna put him in the a tier uh he's not the end of the world group bad but he's not like you know he's not like cracked out or anything so we'll put him down there all right next up guys we got his evolution his evolution is obviously a lot better um, however he has no effect at all and his stats are not good so i'm gonna be honest uh, this guy is a hard pass on the update. I'm going to put him in the A tier. I would say stay away from him. Don't waste your uh, time evolving him. He is probably the worst unit in the update. All right, next up we got Garp, a secret ultimate. This guy is actually uh, really bad, like really, really bad. So uh, don't don't get him at all. I'm going to probably put him in like the B tier. Like this guy is bad, bad. However, he does have an evolution, Garp Cannon, which is a lot better. Um, however, 288 for six isn't bad at all. However, he has no status effect, which is rather disappointing. 
And because of him having no status effects, I'm kind of hesitating to put him in the S tier. So I'm going to put him high up here in the A tier. All right, next up, we got our boy Gas Gas, <laughs> the, the goat. This guy is actually freaking as good as Celestials, as you just saw from those stats. So uh, Gas Gas, easily uh, somewhere in the A tier. And definitely, the, probably the best Mythic in the game. <laughs> Man's cracked. Um, however, if you get his Evo, he's even better. You're going to see his stats go way, way better, 161. So I would say his uh, A tier is kind of higher up here on the list, right up there with... Um, uh, Right, right up there with these guys in the top of the A tier. We might have to add like an A minus tier soon. This tier list is getting a little bit crowded. All right, and I believe we got one last guy, Ichigo. So this guy is very, very good. He's a bleed unit, 156 plus bleed. Again, that's not really meta, um, but it is high A tier, maybe low meta that it's here. Uh, I will say he is good for story mode, etc. So there you go, guys. There's the new tier list on Anime Last Stand. And hopefully we get some new news about the One Punch Man update coming soon.